Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today I want to show you Pedalboard, which is a plugin inside of Studio One that you can use to amplify bass guitar and electric guitar sounds, but you can also use it on any other sound source that you can imagine. My personal favorite is synthesizers, and you can do some surprisingly amazing effects with that. Let me show you. So, first of all, let me show you what Pedalboard is. You find Pedalboard inside of the Studio One effects. So if you open up the browser, you go to the effects and you scroll down, you should find the Pedalboard right here, at least as part of Studio One Professional. Now, Pedalboard is also part of Empire and Empire, I've already inserted that onto this channel here. That's our guitar and bass amplifier simulation, if you want to call it that. And Pedalboard is also a layer of that here at the bottom, and it really contributes to the amazing sound. So for example, here I have a very clean guitar that sounds like this without Empire. And if I turn on Empire, it sounds like this. It's already much fatter. And you can further enhance that with effects like Wild Drive and reverb. And you can really dial these into your heart's content. So people really like these stompbox effects and they are not limited to guitar sounds, which I find most people use them for. And I want to show you how awesome they can sound on synthesizer sounds as well. If you want to learn more about the wide variety of stomp boxes that you have available here inside of Empire and inside of the Pedalboard plugin, I would recommend you to open up the context help. You can open up the context help by pressing F1 on your keyboard. If that doesn't work, then go to Studio One keyboard shortcuts and search for context help there. And then you can assign that to any keyboard shortcut of your choice. And the way this works is that depending on the window that's currently in focus, it jumps straight to that particular chapter inside of the Studio One manual. So right now Empire is in focus, I hit F1, or in my case it's Shift plus F1, um, and it opens up the Empire chapter. And if you scroll down, you find everything there is to know about the pedal boards as well. There's different kinds. There's like Big Fuzz, which is a state space modeling effect. It really is like a one to one emulation of how an analog model behaves. There's different controls like volume, tone and sustain, which can have a drastic effect on the sound as we're going to see in just a moment with the synthesizer example that I have for you. And like I said, this context help also works on other windows inside of Studio One. So if you have the mixer console in focus and you hit context help, then it opens up the chapter uh, covering the mixer console and so forth. So this is a great way to learn Studio One and probably also a great way to complement these videos if you're trying to get better at this DAW. Okay, with that said, and with this little sound example out of the way, let's switch here and show you how you can use that on synthesizers. So in this example, I have the Mojito, which is a very basic monophonic synthesizer inside of Studio One, loaded to an instrument track. The way I did that is I went to the browser, to the instruments here, grab Mojito and just drag and drop that into the next available song space that created a new track, just in case you were wondering how I got this here. Okay, so I'm just undoing that. And if you open it up and you're not using Pedalboard, right now I have that on Bypass, I was also just dragging and dropping that from the effects browser. Uh, it sounds fairly basic like this. Right, that's nothing special whatsoever. But because the sound is so basic, you can actually enrich it a lot with saturation and harmonics. And this is an idea that I've actually gotten from Max Kanye, the amazing producer behind the studio and demo song, where he used that same principle with Mai Tai, which is another virtual analog synthesizer inside of Studio One. And he had like just a very basic sawtooth weight, I think it was. And he was just adding red light distortion and other plugins after that and really fattened it up so much that really inspired me. And I thought this should be possible with our Stompbox collection as well. And yeah, it actually does work surprisingly well. Let me show you. So this is Mojito without any effect. I'm double clicking pedal board to open up this effect. And if I unbypass that, we already get a much fatter sound that only gets fatter as we crank the sustain. 
perhaps also turn on a bit of a space reverb. Of course, we can go way overboard with that if we want to. But we can also dial it in a bit more tastefully, maybe like so. And if we AB that with what it was, there's just so much more attitude to the sound, right? You can select up to eight stamp boxes at your heart's content. You can also drag and drop the order around with your mouse. Just left click and hold to change the order. You can choose from a wide variety of stamp boxes for every slot. So there's equalizers, there's compressors. There's so many different kinds to choose from. And sound design wise, this is just absolutely open ended. There's no way I could show you each of these. I would just encourage you to dial these in by ear to see what sounds great. And as soon as you have something that you like, just save that as a check preset. Let's say I want to save that as a preset. I could just right click this and then save track preset. Call that Mojito and Pedalboard perhaps. And then this is going to show up inside of my instruments browser right here under track presets. And if I'm in a completely new song, for instance, and I select Mojito and Pedalboard, I can just drag and drop that in. And it's going to open up with all the settings just like I had them, including my Mojito synth patch. So this can be played right away and I can use this in different productions going forward. So definitely try it out. Pedalboard in combination with very basic synthesizer sounds could be just a simple oscillator sound like one sawtooth wave or one square wave. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be amazed what happens when you saturate that a little bit with the amazing pedalboard. Thank you for watching.